Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will explain you the procedure of the calculation of base shear on milling as per Indian standard 1893-2000. As we know that earthquake forces are random and unpredictable in nature. So the calculation procedure of this earthquake force is described by Indian standard code 1893-2002. And as per this code, we assume that these earthquake forces are static in nature. I hope you all are aware with the word static that doesn't change with time. And the seismic forces are the lateral force which act from any orthogonal direction. This you can see in the figure. Now let's begin with the procedure to calculate earthquake forces. To understand the procedure first we have to understand what is base shear the total expected seismic forces at the base of the building along the principal direction which is nothing but the base shear and as per is 1893 uh, it gives one equation what is vb is equal to ah into w here your vb is nothing but your base shear and which is seismic force at the base ah is a design horizontal acceleration and W is seismic weight. Now let's understand all these parameters one by one. Seismic weight is a self weight of all structural components of the building and they are slabs, beams, columns, walls and shear walls if any. In seismic weight we also have to include imposed load acting on the building as per uh, one at, as per is 1893 2002 which is given in table number 8 how much percentage of the imposed load we have to calculate as you can see in table number 8 if our live load is less than or equal to 3 kN per meter square we have to in include only 25% of the imposed load and if it is more than 3 kN per meter square we have to include 50% of the live load. AH is design horizontal acceleration. The formula for AH is given in clause number 6.4.2 on page number 18 that is Z by 2 I by R and S by G. Now what is Z here? It is zone factor, I is importance factor, R is response reduction factor and S by G is average response acceleration coefficient. Now let's understand these parameters in detail. Zone factor Z, it depends on the city of the India. The map of India is divided into number of zones as per the earthquake prone severity of area. You can find it in clause number 6.4.2 table number also you can find the zone of cities in annexure E as you can see in table number 2 if uh, any of the city is come into the severity level 2 then uh, it uh, the sey seismic intensity is low and the zone factor Z is 0 0.10 and if it is come in very severe uh, intensity then uh, the zone number is 5 and the zone factor is 0.36 so as per our city this zone uh, will be changed and the zone factor will be changed. Importance factor I which depend on the functional use of the structure which is characterized by the hazardous consequences of its failure, post earthquake functional needs, historical values or economic importance which given in table number 6. As you can as you can see in table number 6 which is given in clause number 6.4.2 uh, as I factor is depend upon the importance of the building as, as if your building is hospital, school or a monument structure or any government building or fire station you have to take your importance factor 1.5 or other buildings let's say one residential building they, are all, they all comes under the importance factor 1 response reduction factor r which is the factor 
where earthquake force occurs on the building and at that time if the building or structure will remain in the elastic during its response to the design basic earthquake that we have to reduce its design lateral force it can be a, it can be a dividing factor okay so this dividing factor can be depending upon the lateral load resisting systems of the building so for factor r it is given in table number 7 you can see here table number 7 where you use ordinary moment resisting frame your r factor will be only 3 and where is your special moment resisting frames like uh, the frame with shear wall or the frame with uh, bracing systems or any other special moment resisting frame and you have to take your r value 5 same with the steel frames if it is concentric brace uh, or maybe eccentric brace the uh, r value will be changed and in, uh, in is code there are more number of uh, bracing systems and more number of building frame systems including the variation of the r factor now let's understand the next parameter is SA by G and uh, this SA by G is average response acceleration coefficient. It depends on the two parameters which are uh, time period and the soil type of the structure. This time period is approximate fundamental natural time period uh, of the building and we calculated it in uh, seconds. Normally uh, in IS 1893 2002 we uh, have given here three uh, formulas for time uh, determine time period one formula you can see here is 0.075 h raised to 0.75 and this is for uh, RC frame building it means here only uh, frame building means uh, uh, frame is just a skeleton of beams and columns here and slab there is no infill wall uh, okay, and the second formula is uh, 0.085 h raised to 0.75 for the steel frame building, and uh, the next formula is for the infill wall building, uh, and it is the formula is 0.09 upon under root d, where your h in all three formulas your h is the height of a building. And here you have to include the total height of the building and the parameter D. D is the base dimension of a building at a plinth level. It means you have to uh, determine the dimension at the dimension at the building at the base in plan. Okay. And which is along the considered direction of the lateral force. It means if your uh, lateral force or we can say earthquake is coming from the x direction let's say if it is from x direction then you have to calculate uh, the base dimensions of the building along this x direction and let's say if it is from the y direction then you have to consider the total dimension from the y direction you can see here the graph of SA by G in the y axis it's uh, SA by G and uh, on x axis it is given as time period and all these three uh, lines are given for uh, type 1 soil type 2 soil and type 3 soil here you can see the type 1 soil is very hard soil type 2 soil is medium soil and type 3 is a soft soil so as we have discussed earlier uh, the calculation of time period and let's say we are uh, having soil type is medium so here you have to uh, consider these graph and uh, if uh, let's say your time period is 1.5 then you can just take your 1.5 value upward to uh, where your medium soil is coincide and you just draw it, it to the y axis and you can find approximate SA by G is 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 okay and how we can find our uh, value of SA by G now put all these values uh, to determine the value of AH 
and multiply uh, both AH and W which is a seismic weight and you can just determine VB it is a value of base shear now let's understand the distribution of lateral flow, uh, lateral forces. Now uh, you can see this formula, which is for QI is equal to VB multiplied by WI uh, into HI square upon summation of WJ HJ square. Here your H is a particular height of the story. Your W is a seismic weight of the particular story, and um, H, uh, sorry, I and J defines the successive stories of the building where VB is a base shear we have already calculated and WI is the distribution of lateral force at uh, each floor okay so you can see uh, in this diagram okay if the, the, if there is one building having six stories and the lateral distribution increases as per the story increases okay so this is your q1 q2 q3 q4 and q5 and up to the qn which is a lateral distribution of shear force and which is the shear at each and every floor okay now we have to uh, calculate particular st story shear and what is story shear? Story shear is the accumulation of the successive lateral, uh, successive stories of the lateral force. So you just have to summation for uh, above and bottom story, and that is not, it is nothing but your story shear. You can see Q H, Q five, Q four, Q three, Q two, and Q one, and the last is the base shear you have already calculated which is VB and you can find here the maximum force uh, acts at the base of the structure and how we can determine the total distribution of the uh, shear and we can determine